What's up, Crew TV? Welcome back to Monthly Pickups. I know it's been a minute since we have done this, but we're back again, 2015, ready to be here every single month for you guys with the latest apparel pickups and sneaker pickups from yours truly. I am Kai Somar for those of you guys who don't know me. This is the first time that I've been doing this in about a few months. I think it's been since July. And I want to apologize again for being absent, but uh, I thought we'd start 2015 off with a little bang and bring it back for you guys and do it better than ever. As you guys can see, my location is a little different. I'm at the Oaten Filth flagship store out here in Hayward. I thought I'd switch up the settings rather than being at home. And you guys know that Oaten Filth has been lacing me up with some dope apparel since they started and I had to show some love too. Like I said, they've been lacing me up. So what we did is we dropped this collab tee that is available right now on their website. It is the Owen Filth collab tee with QOP. Check it out, it says dream a little more in the front. This is actually the first drawing that Da Vinci made of the helicopter. So it kind of gives you an idea of what I stand for and kind of what the brand stands for as far as chasing your dreams and doing what you love. So it's a super dope idea behind the shirt. You got the Owen Filth logo on one sleeve and then you got the Dream Crew 07 logo on the other sleeve and again if you want to pick up this super limited shirt hit up the website Yeah, man, they're gonna sell out fast. So make sure you guys hop on it now Usually when I do monthly pickups, I've got my apparel and my sneakers like I said But today since I haven't done it in a while I have months worth of apparel that I would take hours to show you guys So I decided to just bring in my sneakers that I actually picked up from the month of December Now this is not everything that I've picked up from the past few months since the last monthly pickups but let's make a deal. If you guys could get this monthly pickups, 3,000 thumbs up. I'll show you guys my entire sneaker collection on the next month's monthly pickups. But until then, these are just my December pickups, like I said. So let's go ahead and get into it because I don't want to bore you guys with talking. I know you guys are here for the things that I put on my feet. Before I get into these sneakers, let me show you guys what I have on my feet right now. Another pickup from the month of December. Let me take these off. These are the LeBron 12 Nike IDs. This is the first pair of LeBron 12s that I got. And the theme I was going for with these shoes was the original Cavs colorway with a little hint of gold instead of yellow. Uh, I wanted to pretty much just make a simple colorway that matches his uh, Cavs uniform. It kind of commemorates him coming back to the Cavs and leaving Miami. So I went with the simple uh, maroon body, gold detailing, navy blue uh, soft liner, and then of course we got the crew, what does this one say? Oh no, not this one. I say I put crew life on the other shoe, but this one says Ramo one of one with the 07 on the inside. And I'm really happy that Nike brought back the stitching on the Nike ID. If you guys remember from my old monthly pickups, I had a rant about how they made Nike IDs hella cheap and it got a lot of views. And uh, maybe I was responsible for them uh, bringing the stitching back, but there it is, stitching is in there. I'm more of a low top guy, so I, I don't know if I could hoop in these, but I kind of want to try them out to see how they feel. Yeah, man, Nike ID LeBron, shout out to the plug. Can't tell you where the plug's at, but now let's get into these. One of the releases that I was anticipating all year long was definitely the black infrared Jordan 6s. I'm sure a lot of you guys were. A lot of people complained about the pink on here or the red or the infrared as they call it, but personally I like it. You know, every once in a while you can't just go with the original colorway. You gotta switch it up a little bit and add a little bit of flavor to it so that you know what year it came from rather than just releasing the same thing over and over and over again and uh, not being able to recognize what year that shoe came from just from looking at it from afar. You know, if you see somebody you're like, oh, those are the, oh, 2014 infrareds and then those are the, uh, I think the last one was 2010 infrareds or something. So these came out to like 175 plus tax, but definitely super dope shoe. Like, I'm um, happy they released these and probably my favorite Jordan pickup of December, if not the whole year. Another pickup, one of my favorite pickups of the whole year, the Mellow Jordan 1, you see the Carmelo logo on the tongue. They also released a Chris Paul version, they released a, a Blake Griffin, and they're gonna release a Russell Westbrook version. They started releasing these without a release date, they just started throwing these at the foot lockers and foot actions. And once I found that out, uh, I called all my malls and they weren't giving me any info and I finally called the mall that was actually near Harris's house. But they said that they actually had them, so I hit up Harris 
who lives an hour away from me and uh, I asked him to pick it up for me and he went and luckily he was able to get myself a pair and himself a pair. So shout out to Harris for being the plug on these. Definitely the best part about this is the different materials on here. You got like a suede and then the regular gold leather and then up here you got like a mesh. So they did a pretty good job on this. I don't even know what these are called honestly. I just really like this colorway. I've been really, really satisfied with the Jordans that they've released the past month. If you guys know me, I'm not a big Jordan guy. I'm more of a Kobe guy. This past month they've really uh, been releasing some good stuff. Definitely a good pickup for the month of December. And then the last Jordan pickup for the month of December, of course, is the shoe that people getting killed over and going crazy over is the Columbia's, or as they call it now, the Legend Blues. This is not a shoe people should go crazy over, in my opinion. Honestly, it's a dope shoe that you should have in your collection, but it's not a shoe that you should be paying more than 250 for, in my opinion. The materials aren't even that great, honestly. The leather is kind of cheap on here. The patent leather is always going to be the same. It's not my favorite pickup of the year. It's not my favorite 11. And I would actually like them more if they were kind of aged a little bit and the patent leather was kind of yellowing. I love that look, the old vintage look rather than this crispy, nice look. I got them on finishline.com. If I wasn't able to cop these, I honestly wouldn't even be that disappointed, so. All right, this shoe right here, a lot of people have their opinions on these. Back to the Future 2. I guess you could call them mags, but they're not the official Nike version. This is the Halloween version, the one that you wear for a Halloween costume. Um, it's from HalloweenCostumes.com, I think. But let's keep it real, how many of us are actually gonna pay freaking 5,000 for the Nike version of them, you know? These ones are only 100 bucks, and they're still available to get if you guys wanna get them. For the average person like me who's never gonna buy mags, this is fine. It's not a fake, it's licensed by Universal Pictures, so... Say what you want, I already wore them, actually I wore them for New Year's, I thought I'd bring it 2015 with the bang, you know, and uh, as you can see, they do light up, right there, you can see them light up, yeah, Air, Air Max, I might even draw a swoosh on myself, oh, the battery died, yeah, <laughs> alright, two more shoes left here, one of them is in this box, as you can see, Adidas, I'm not a big Adidas guy, but, um, Definitely wanted to pick these up. A couple months ago, Adidas launched an app where you can upload your own picture on there and you could uh, pretty much put anything on there with their approval. And I thought it was a pretty dope idea and I actually had a promo code with Adidas. So I put Dream Crew all over the shoe and inside of Dream Crew on one of the uh, lines, I put little, part, little pictures that uh, meant a lot to me. Like I put like, Ones of me in Europe, ones of the one when I met Kobe, uh, just me and my homies, uh, my dad, my mom. So everything is actually like that represents my life and stuff like that. I decided to put it into the shoe and I thought it was just a dope idea. So shout out to Adidas for making this possible. And I actually got these for only 90 bucks, surprisingly. And the shoes are pretty comfortable. I uh, really do suggest people hop on this My Adidas and take advantage of making your own shoe. When I posted them on my Instagram, a lot of people liked them and they said they would cop if I released these, but obviously I don't have a mass production of these, so uh, they're never coming out. But if you want to make your own that say Dream Crew, go ahead and send me the picture. I wish Nike ID did this, but they send you a little duffel bag too. Uh, not a duffel bag, but a little dust bag. So if Nike ID did this, that would definitely get some extra bounty points. But you know, regardless, I'm always going to mess with Nike. My last pickup of December 2014. One of my favorite pickups of the year. A big shout out to... The man himself, Kobe Bryant, for passing up MJ. Becoming the third highest scorer in NBA history. And to do that, Nike released a special Nike ID quick streak. Within a few hours, I think it sold out, but I did hop on it. And I did the same exact colorway that he wore when he did pass up MJ. These are the Kobe, what are they, Mamba Moments, Mamba Moments. I had a brain fart right there, guys, don't mind me, but the Kobe Mamba Moments. A lot of people hating on the bottoms with that little purple camo print, but I really like them. I love the hint of the vault green. On the inside, I did definitely the numbers that uh, of his scoring, and then on the other one that was left bl blank, I did the KB5 rings. I didn't want to change anything on the shoe. I could have changed it myself, but I didn't want to change anything on the shoe. I just wanted to keep it to the original colorway that he played in. Top three shoes that I picked up 
up in 2014. Again, shout out to Nike, shout out to Kobe. What do you guys think was my best pickup of the year? A lot of people would say it was this, but I honestly don't think it was. I think it was the Kobe's. Let me know what you guys think. I want to know your guys' opinions. And that's all the pickups for the month of December. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know which one was your favorite pickup, like I said. And even you guys comment down below and let me know what you guys picked up for December. Or actually comment down below and let me know what was your favorite pickup of 2014 for your own collection. But before I go, I want to show you guys a little bit more about Own Filth and get you guys to see some of the more products that are available on the website that you guys can check out. Um, anything else I need to plug before we leave? Oh, oh yeah, dreamcrew.com, check out my website. I got sneakers on there, I got my crew crew season shirts on there. Now let's get to know Oat and Filth a little bit more. My name is Jasper. I'm the owner of Oat Filth, high fashion streetwear brand. I uh, started the brand back in 2011. Oat Filth is actually spelled H-A-U-T-E, but it's pronounced Oat. Uh, the H is silent. It's a French name. It means stand for high. Usually it goes with Oat Couture, but we, we mixed it with Oat Filth. So Oat is high and then filled with the bottom, so technically it's like they're opposites of each other. So you start from the bottom, you come to the top, you work, you know, you do what you have to do to get crying, hustle, work, to get to where you want to be in life. Follow us on uh, Instagram, is Oat Filth, H-A-U-T-E-F-I-L-T-H, same with Twitter. Other than that, we have the website, uh, www.oatfilth.com. Looking at the frame, they don't see my vision Pictures always change, but I stay on my mission Got the same goal They ain't feeling what I'm doing, but I'm coming at it from a different angle This is real life You don't know what I feel like Got a lot of voices in my ear, wanna hear right You must think it's all good, cause I smile I'm the only one that knows I ain't laughed in a while Come talk to a